Thank you, Steve. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Miller, President and Chief Executive Officer of Southern Nuclear, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you this morning. Safety is our top priority. And by safety, I mean nuclear safety, operation of our existing reactors for the benefit of the public and in strict accordance with public health and welfare and industrial safety to ensure that our workers are not hurt, either at the construction site or in the operation of our plants. Marv talked to you about the outstanding record of the nation's nuclear fleet. And because safety is our top priority, it forms the basis for Steve Burns' company, for my company, to go forward and build the next round of nuclear power plants in this country. There's nothing more important than safety. Give you an update about where we are on Vogel 3 and 4. We have two units in operation at the Vogel plant site, Vogel 1 and 2, and we're in the process of building two additional ones. Just like our operating units, the new units under construction will be owned by Georgia Power, Oglethorpe Power, the Municipal Electric Authority of Georgia, and Dalton Utilities. Together, these companies provide electric service to the entire state of Georgia. The entire state of Georgia is in this project. And like SCANA, South Carolina Electric and Gas, we have incorporated Westinghouse's AP1000 design located near Burke County, or in Burke County, Georgia, near Augusta. We anticipate receiving our combined construction and operating license later this year. There are currently about 1,500 employees working at that site, and that number will grow to approximately 3,500 employees at when it reaches its peak construction period in 2014. Thereafter, as the units go commercial, it will take approximately 800 full-time employees to operate them. Let me provide some background on our project. We have been planning new nuclear generation at Southern Company since 2005. The southeastern United States has a projected growth rate of 34 percent in additional electricity sales between 2008 and 2030. Our company needs additional baseload generation to meet those growing needs. One example just recently announced is that Gulfstream announced it was in expanding its production facilities in Savannah and creating 1,000 new jobs. It is events like that that assure us that when these plants go commercial in 2016 and 2017, there is a need for the output. Southern Nuclear filed an application for an early site permit in 2006. That permit was granted in 2009. In 2008, we signed an engineering procurement and construction contract with the Westinghouse Shaw Consortium. And the next year, the Georgia Public Service Commission certified the new units and enacted construction work in progress, allowing the company to recover costs before the units become operational. We immediately passed those savings on to our customers by reducing our certified amount from 6.4 billion to 6.1 billion. In 2010, our project received the first and only conditional loan guarantees from the Department of Energy. Those commitments set out the terms for final agreements for Vogel 3 and 4 loan guarantees, and acceptance of them is an important step in the loan process and will be developed, I'm sorry, will be followed by developing the final agreements. Final approval execution of the documents and the actual loan will occur once we receive our combined construction and operating license. This too saves the customers money. We estimate between 15 and 20 million dollars a year and we too we will pass that on to the customers. Now the actual credit subsidy cost will not be finalized until closing of the loan agreement and will, won't be released until that time. Some milestones. The new streamlined licensing process is going well. A major benefit is that it allows one license to build and operate the plant and provides for public participation early in the process. Some key licensing milestones. Revision 8 of the Westinghouse design certification documentation has been submitted. This revision provides resolution to all identified design issues and completes all work necessary 
for the NRC to determine that the AP-1000 is safe and meets all regulatory requirements. The safety evaluation report is set to be completed this summer, and we expect the combined construction operating license to issue this fall. In January, just last month, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards recommended that our COL be issued. The next step in the process, mandatory hearing and rulemaking, which are scheduled for this summer. We have opened and staffed an office in China to facilitate our partnership with the Chinese on, an a on the AP-1000 technology. We're very excited about this partnership. It provides valuable information for the Chinese who want to learn from us operational skills, use of our simulators, and for us to watch their construction, watch their loading fuel, watch their going critical, and in fact, go through their first refueling before Vogel 3 and 4 go online. Most importantly, our project is on schedule and on budget. The estimated cost of the new units is $14 billion, and we call that the all-in cost, that is how much will be invested on the day the units go commercial. The cost for Georgia Power Company, certified by the Public Service Commission, is $6.1 billion. As I mentioned, that's down from 6.4 as a result of the construction work in progress legislation. We are building all of the units under this CWIP process and transparently have passed that on to our customer. So far, Georgia Power Company has spent about $1.3 billion for its 45 percent ownership. Some of the major accomplishments, excavation and backfill placement. SCANA has the advantage of a hard rock site. Ours is good South Georgia red clay. We went down 90 feet to bedrock. I'll show you some slides on that. And we are backfilling back up to the correct elevation. The major components, containment vessel bottom head, have been delivered to the site, all 58 pieces. We built a concrete batch plant. We have to pour 289,000 cubic yards of concrete. So we built a concrete batch plant. And like SCANA, we have operations training classes underway at Augusta Technical College. We are working to train the first class of operations instructors and subsequent classes of operation employees. We have an excellent project management board and an oversight process. And we have signed a memorandum of understanding with Shandong Power in China to give us the benefits that I described to you earlier, an opportunity to watch them construct an AP-1000 approximately two years ahead of us and to get the lessons learned and best practices and bring them home. The benefit to both parties is immeasurable. Let's see some slides. That's that good South Georgia red clay I described to you earlier. What we'll do to demonstrate to you the advantage of being the first in the country to construct an AP-1000, but not the first in the world to construct an AP-1000, as I'll show you a Vogel slide and then I'll show you the Chinese slide of where we will be in a year or so from now. This is where it stands right now. That's the Vogel Unit 3. Vogel Unit 4 is, uh, went down equally 90 feet to bedrock and came back up. So that's, that's where we will put our nuclear island at Vogel. And in a little over a year, that's what it will look like. We'll, they have their basement rebar. We will begin to put in our rebar making it or preparing it for the concrete pour I just described. Commercial operation of, the sand of this plant is scheduled for 2013 and it will have four units in operation. China will have four units in operation before we get to 2016. Here you can see our containment vessel bottom plates arriving at the Vogel site in September of 2010. They were made in Japan, shipped over here. 131 feet in diameter, 213 feet high, and about 4,000 tons in weight. The bottom head alone weighs 680 tons. They came to us with 46 truck deliveries. It has 58 plates, 
and fabricating the bottom head takes about a year. But it's been done in the world already. And there you can see the Sandman containment vessel being lowered into place. We've been to China. We've seen this. We know what they have done. And we know how to do the same thing at Plant Vogel. Here's our module assembly building, a little further along than Scanna, but not much. As Steve told you and demonstrated to you, this plant will be built in a modular fashion. And our building is now closed in. That photograph is slightly dated. We've closed it in. And that's one of the benefits of the AP1000 design is modular construction. Here's our photograph of the Sandman module. That is their CA01. It has reactor vessel steam generator places in it. But the significance of that photograph is we can build this modular, modular and we'll erect a crane, lower it into place in the containment vessel and have the benefit of watching them do it ahead of us. So in summary, the nuclear revival is underway in Georgia. The new licensing process is working as designed. Public opinion for our project is very favorable. We're incorporating successful construction techniques and lessons learned from the Chinese partnership. And our project is financially viable, will provide safe, clean, reliable, low-cost electric energy to our customers for generations to come. And more importantly, the project is on schedule and on budget. I'll turn it back over to Marv.